Hi, here are some thoughts about Vox, what it's about and how it works. Vox is an experimental voice synthesizer I made using Unreal Engine and Metasounds. It is not a realistic text-to-speech synthesizer, but rather a playful tool. The way I mainly see Vox is as an entity that responds to the inputs of the user. Through the controls, you can clumsily try to tame the entity and experience how it sonically and visually reacts to you. You have to generate each vowel with the press of a key. And by moving the mouse up and down, you can change the pitch. It's very hard to control the vowels and the pitch at the same time. But when it's done right, it almost sounds like some kind of weird broken language. The main inspiration I had for this was the voter, invented by Homer Dudley in 1937 at the Bell Telephone Laboratory. The machine was so hard to control, its operators had to train for an entire year to use it properly. Gladly, Vox does not generate consonants and focuses on vowels and pitch, so it should only take you a few minutes to produce some goofy and uncanny primitive language. The lack of consonants probably plays a role in how silly it sounds. Actually, there are a few consonants you can do, like Y and W, since they are phonetically just combinations of different vowels. A -U. A -U. A -U. <laughs> Choosing and executing the right sequence of phonemes with one hand while controlling the pitch with the other to try to imitate human speech is definitely a challenge. I like how this makes you appreciate how complex human speech is. Oh, and the visuals of Vox are the result of a happy accident. Um, first, I tried to use MetaHuman in Unreal Engine to make a very, very realistic human head and animate it with the amplitude of the sound and with the player inputs. I thought the contrast between the realistic head and the goofy voice would be uncanny and hilarious, but I didn't manage to use MetaHuman as I wanted, so I started looking at alternatives. Then I realized using photographs of my face saying the different vowels worked even better than what I had planned with MetaHuman and that it looked more fun and unusual. I had a lot of fun driving the eyebrow animation with the pitch of the voice. Photography and photography-based animation are uncommon in games and interactive media. Um, I think it's an interesting medium to work with in that context, and it's an unexpected thing to combine with procedural audio. Um, it doesn't provide a flexibility of procedural visuals, but it participates in making Vox unique, eccentric, and uncanny. Oh, and, and you can change the voice archetype between child, female, and male by pressing 1, 2, and 3. And you can also make it sing. Ouch. <laughs> it's hard to precisely control the pitch with the mouse. Uh, and that's why I made a choir mode for this purpose. Oh yeah, there is a little silly detail I added here at the end. The name of each button is pronounced when they are selected, but of course without the consonants. So it sounds funny, but the point was also to make the navigation through the main menu easier for people with a visual disability. So the drone choir mode. Here you have four voices to play with. 
and you won't have to manually manage the pitch, which will make things much easier for music. The four singers are sleeping now, but let's wake them up. You can force them to stay awake if you keep clicking here, but they will sing better if they can rest from time to time. They are all back to sleep now. So first you can choose a scale they are using. As you can hear, depending on the notes they are singing, there may not be any differences between two given scales. Then, the presets are an easy way to change the voice range of each singer in a configuration that makes sense. It will also change their voice archetype. For example, we have a classic choir here, bass, tenor, contralto and soprano. Or you can choose to have a children choir. or a very wide range of voices or have them sing so low that their voices become clicks. This one is eerie, I like it. You can also control each voice separately. Oh, and here you can change how long it takes for the voices to change vowel and note. Let's see how it sounds with shorter interpolation times. And you can change the voice archetype and range. So let's make a child voice. And now with the female archetype. Oh, and you can also control everything with the keyboard, which I find much more convenient when you want to make quick changes. Let's see what it sounds like when changing vowels and notes simultaneously or in quick succession with several voices. Okay, I'm going to end this video with one last example. Thank you for listening. 